Hello, and welcome to the third part of the project Ori Mothership. First of all, uh, let me apologize for the delay. Um, the problem is that I first I had a vacation, uh, which kind of prevent me uh, from printing uh, another part. But I also had some technical difficulties. Um, I have a problem with my nozzle, so I lost uh, 11 hours of print uh, with a clogged nozzle. And I also lost another 12 hours of print uh, with my stupidity, because I paint sprayed uh, the parts on my balcony. And I kind of forgot uh, about those parts being there. And the sun made quite a short process with them and deformed uh, those parts in such a way that they were unusable. So that is why it's such a delayed project. But anyway, um, we are continuing now, so uh, let's go straight back into it. So in the, fir uh, in the uh, previous uh, part of the project, we actually took care of the top part and printed everything out. So in today's part, we will take a look at the bottom. So I will get rid of everything else. And yeah, this is what we have to print. So the, this group consists of several pieces, so we have this big piece and its follow-up, this big piece and its follow-up, the windows and the back pieces with the landing lights and also we have two connections here and that's basically it as you can see everything is connected via those locks that I use all the time and they have uh, all the pieces have uh, corresponding holes for the pins in the top uh, subgroup so we will do this now uh, give me a few minutes to actually explain or, or describe the landing legs uh, as you may remember they work like this so when they, when they are extended uh, the ship should stand on its own and it actually does uh, it works though not 100% as uh, imagined but it works uh, what I would like to point out is when you print it, print it like this and print it with a support material because without it this part may be deformed and uh, you certainly understand that it has not, uh, it shouldn't be deformed, it, it must not be deformed in order for it to properly work. So uh, print it with the support and once it's printed, remove all the support material very carefully and remove every single uh, support line um, from it. And yet, uh, this part wouldn't look like this uh, because uh, it will be made from the printing layers. So I recommend, in order to get the round, uh, as round shape as possible, to use some scissors or something sharp and uh, basically grind this uh, bottom part a little bit so that you have uh, so that you can remove everything that could stand in the way yeah this, this is how I did it and as I said it works now uh, it is uh, it is very easily uh, put in place just by pushing it inside it uh, works it works quite well uh, better than I expected uh, though uh, obviously once it's in place uh, it's no, it's kind of loose uh, the leg so it uh, could move really uh, with no issue but when it is in its uh, maximum and minimum position it's held uh, on place by friction so you don't have to be worried that uh, it will fall down simply by gravi gravity no if it is closed like this then it's uh, held by by the, uh, 
in this position automatically. So you have to apply a little bit of force, nothing substantial, to open it. And once it's, once it's opened, it's open with angle, so when you push it down, no problem. But uh, so far, from everything that we printed, uh, so far it was the only piece that needed to be printed with the support uh, material. Though there will be two more in the next part. Okay, so I suppose that's all for the model presentation. And I guess we can go straight to print it out and assemble everything together. Okay, so here we have all the parts, so let's go and put it all together. So, now uh, the uh, retractable legs, they work, though they don't work as well as intended, but they work. So, I still call it a success, even if not 100% one. Okay, so no, yeah, uh, one thing I forgot to mention, I uh, am sorry, I already inserted the window part inside, uh, it was kind of accidental and I don't want to really to rip it uh, out, so yeah, I simply inserted it inside, anyway. Okay, and now those two uh, big pieces, the front pieces, they go together and then everything snap together very nicely. And now we have to put both halves together. As you can see, it happened. the bottom part has corresponding pins and this has corresponding holes. So. okay it's together now obviously i still need to apply uh, some paint to uh, smoothen the, the uh, different dif uh, different pieces i also noticed that i forgot to uh, paint uh, the color here so i will fix that that's not really a problem but yeah, it went together really nicely, though I had to use some force, but that's uh, expected, and that's good. Okay, now I will test if the landing leg works as I wanted them. Yeah, it works. So, yeah, that's it, the bottom part and top part are together at least, uh, at last, sorry, so, yeah, alright, so, blah, that will be all, and we will see each other in the next part, okay, bye-bye.